professor will hold or not. Ah, hello, Christian Academy. This is your friend, professor will hold or not. And I understand that you are engaged in missions in March. And in March, during missions, you are talking about kindness, yeah? And you want to know how to show the love of Jesus by being kind to others, being on mission to show the love of Jesus through the actions that you show to your brothers and sisters, your family, your neighbors, your friends, to strangers, people in your class, everyone, yeah? Okay. So I want to show you an experiment that I think will help you see the power of kindness. So I have here in my, I have a beaker. I have, you could use a glass, but you wouldn't be very scientific. You need a beaker. Yeah, okay. And then a regular old e egg. This is a regular egg. It has not been boiled, nothing fancy pants. And you need some salt. And most importantly, you need an egg grabber. This is an egg grabber. And do not try this at home if you do not have an egg grabber. Right. You can go home and show your parents this experiment. Get their permission. All you need is these three, four things. Pika, water, salt, an egg, and an egg grabber. Okay, so I'm going to put the egg in the egg grabber. And I'm going to gently put the egg in the water. The egg grabber keeps it from flopping down. Okay, now, you see that the egg is all the way at the bottom of the beaker. Now, I want you to think about this water as pressure. The water has pressure and the water pressure is pushing down on the egg. Then the egg is under pressure. And that is why he's down there at the bottom. He's not floating because the egg is under the pressure of the water and he's being pressed down. Now, we will introduce some salt, regular old table salt, into the water. We are going to think about this salt as kindness. This salt will be acts of kindness. Jesus says, you are the salt of the earth. So let us see what happens if we put the water, the salt in the water. Now, yes, it will become salty water, and we wouldn't want you to drink it, but let's see, we'll add a little salt. And it gets a little cloudy. And maybe we will stir it just a little. Hmm, nothing much. Let's try some more salt, yeah? We will put lots of salt. Okay, now we will stir the water. Oh, can you see, boys and girls, that the egg has started to rise up. Maybe I should put something dark behind here. I realize my vest is white, the egg is white. Now do you see that the egg has started to come up a little bit? Let's try some more salt. We'll add some more salt and we will see what would happen. <gasps> oh, boys and girls, look, the egg is coming up almost to the top. Let's add a little more salt and we will stir it a little. Yeah, just a little gentle stir. And now look at that. The egg has come all the way up here to the top. Maybe we'll just even add some more salt. And now the egg has come all the way up to the top. I will push him here to the front. Maybe you can see him better. Oh, do you see the egg? There he is, right there at the very front. Now, boys and girls, why has this happened? What is going on in here? Now, the, the salt, when it goes into the water, it melts and it dissolves into the water. And it joins up with the water molecules and it makes the water more dense. And because the water is dense, the egg now is, has less pressure than the water, and so the egg comes to the top. Now, boys and girls, I want you to think about this egg as a friend, as a neighbor, as a stranger who's under pressure. And because of that pressure, they are down in the dumps. 
They are down in the, they feel pressed down, they feel oppressed, they feel as if the world is on their shoulders, picking on them. But you, by your acts of salty kindness, can help raise them up, lift them up, help them to find God, help them to find forgiveness, help them to find hope, so that they will not be down in the dumps, that they will be lifted up. I want you to be the salt of the earth, yeah? Okay, so you will try this at home if you want. Remember, egg, water, some kind of beaker, you could use a glass, table salt, egg grabber, and then you can show your parents how you want to be salty kindness in the world. Okay, I uh, thank you. Sorry for the interruption, and I will. I I I better get out of here. I have other experiments to do. All right. Thank you, Professor Wilhold or not. You know, boys and girls, that experiment made me think about a story in the Bible. Uh, it's a story where Moses needed some help. Yes, even Moses found himself in a situation where he needed someone to show him some kindness. And luckily, they did. This is found in Exodus chapter 17. And in this chapter, the children of Israel, as they're sort of moving into the promised land, there were nations that wanted to oppose Israel and not let them come into the land that God had promised them. And they came out to do battle with Israel. So Moses told Joshua to take the army and go into battle. And Moses said, I will go up on the mountain and I will hold up my staff. And when I hold my staff up, the staff of God, you will be victorious. And so Joshua and the children of Israel went into battle and Moses at the top of the mountain held up his staff. But, you know, after, a, a, I don't know, a couple of hours of holding up your staff, it's like, oh, it gets pretty heavy. Your arms are getting tired. And when Moses' arms would sag, and then the children of Israel would start to lose the battle and start to retreat. And so Moses would think, oh, he'd hold up his arms some more. And then they would sort of win for a while. And then Moses' arms would get so tired. And then along came his brother, Aaron, and another person whose name is Her. It's spelled H-U-R. And Her and Aaron came and they held up Moses' hands so that he held up his staff and his brother and his friend helped him and held his hands up. And it, they held him up until the sun went down. That's a long time to hold your arms up. And boy, Moses is so uh, blessed to have those two friends, brother and a friend, who would help him out and show him kindness when he needed it. And you know, boys and girls, if Moses needed help, you can bet that you and me and your family and your neighbors and kids in your class, your teacher needs help sometimes. We need show, someone to show us some kindness. You know, we even use that phrase when somebody shows us some kindness and, and helps us. We say, give us a helping hand. Moses needed a helping hand from Aaron and her. Maybe your friend needs a helping hand. Maybe literally helping them up if they fall down in the playground. Or if you're playing a sport and they fall down on the field they, and, or the court and they need somebody to help them up. Maybe somebody's kind of falling down in a class. Maybe they're having trouble in one of your classes. Or maybe they're really frustrated with their recorder or trying to learn an instrument. Uh, maybe a particular subject is hurting them. And, and just like that water pressed down on that egg, they might feel really pressed down. But you can be the salt that comes in there and lifts them up and shows them kindness, and shows them, uh, gives them a helping hand. You know, somebody you know might be pressed down by some really sad things in their life. Maybe there's some things that are really bothering them, and they really feel pressure, and they need someone to help lift them up, lift them up to God in prayer, lift up their spirits. Maybe somebody has something going on in their family, in their life, that is really important. Uh, bad and it's pressing down on them and maybe they need someone to give them the courage. Now, you might think, I'm just a kid. I don't know how to help them. M maybe not. But you could be the one that will be the salt that will lift them up and give them the courage to go talk to a teacher, a counselor at school, maybe their parents or grandparents. 
maybe a pastor at their church, because you know it's serious and it's pressing down on them, and you need to be the one to lift them up. You know, Jesus told us to be the salt of the earth. And so I want you in this month of missions, when you're trying to be kind and show the love of Jesus through acts of kindness, to realize you're being the salt in the earth and the salt can lift up people who are hurting. Just like Moses needed help, we all need kindness from time to time. So thank you, Professor Will Ornott, and I'm going to return you now to your classroom. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Shell and Professor Will Hoed or not, for those insights from the world of science. And now we return you to your regularly scheduled classroom activity. This is your host, Reed Prompter.